Good afternoon, everyone. Uh, my name is Scott Nichols. I'm the general manager of the Barrington Yacht Club. I would like to introduce current fleet captain and past Commodore, Steve Thurston. Thank you, Scott. Welcome, everyone, to this 114th opening of the Barrington Yacht Club. Um, this second and final opening under COVID conditions has certainly put a lot of pressure on the Commodore, on the, on the board and staff who have done admirably these uh, past 15 months. Uh, huge thank you for all you've done. I'll begin by acknowledging our life members. They are George and Joanne Crocker, Jim and Phyllis McClellan, Louise Hawkins, Steve and Debbie Thurston, and Sally Phillips. And recognizing our past commoners, they are Jim McClellan, Steve Thurston, Pete Lasotovich, Chip Hawkins, Norm Moore, Fred Stouch, Bruce Morris, Rob Migliaccio, Steve Permiano, Bill Plunkett, Karen North, Scott Walker, Bob Manchester, Dave Matern, and Bob Anderson. I'll now introduce the current Board of Directors, <laughs> Board of Directors, Board of Governors, excuse me, uh, nominating committee chair and immediate past Commodore John Ratcliffe. Publications Committee Chair, Natalie Leonard. Please. Junior Activities Chair, Kristen Antonio. Cruise Committee Chair, Andrew Porter. SDP Committee Chair, Stu Kiley. What have they done to you, Stu? Me Membership Committee Chair is Bob Mataliano. Unfortunately, he couldn't be with us tonight. Social Committee Chair is Caitlin Palmieri. Race Committee Chair, Frank Hearn. House Committee Chair, Jared Kelly, also not able to be here this evening. Finance Committee Chair, Mike Reuter. Treasurer, Chip Mitchell. Secretary E. Formisano. And Rear Commodore, Becky Schwach. Vice Commodore, Oliver Tutt, who could not be with us. And Commodore, Lou Massa. <laughs> and now for colors. Yeah, strike colors. Attention for colors. Oh, God. I declare the Barrington Yacht Club officially commissioned for the 2021 season and now turn the club over to Commodore Massa. It's all yours, Steve.
Thank you, uh, past Commodore and life member Steve Thurston. Right now, I want to introduce Father Patrick Green. He's graciously joining us from St. John's Episcopal Church in Barrington. He'll be blessing the fleet. We thank you, Almighty God, for the gift of water. Over it, the Holy Spirit moved in the beginning of creation. Through it, you led the children of Israel out of their bondage in Egypt into the land of promise. In it, your son Jesus received the baptism of John and was anointed by the Holy Spirit as the Messiah, the Christ. And by it, we are nourished and fed both in body and spirit. And we thank you, Almighty God, for another year of refreshment and recreation upon the water. Almighty God, who rebukes the storms and brings them to silence, who lays the roaring waves to rest, we ask you to bless these vessels that carry us to adventure and bring us all to safe harbor. Amen. Thank you, Father Green, for your blessing. As Commodore, I'd like to welcome everyone to the 2020, uh, 2021 and the 114th opening of the Barrington Yacht Club. Again, we're holding it virtually because of the state of Rhode Island's COVID regulations and limitations on the number of people we can have here. Next year, we're hopeful to be back to normal and invite all the past Commodores and have an opening party for the membership uh, with a new tent going up next week. It'll give us a lot more room outside and uh, space for the club and for us to, to be part of this club uh, again this year. Uh, William Arthur Ward, an American writer, uh, once wrote, the pessimist complains about the wind, the optimist expects it to change, the realist adjusts the sails. Nothing could be more true on how the Barrington Yacht Club has weathered the brunt of this pandemic. With the leadership of your Board of Governors, the BYC membership and staff, along with the entire membership, we have had to constantly alter and sometimes rewrite how we do everything. Always adjusting to the changing COVID regulations, I can't be more humbled by the efforts from all of you. Tonight's theme, if, there, if you look behind what is really being said here, the theme is about the efforts and contributions that happen behind the scenes at this club. There's some amazing things that do happen, and I'll give you a couple of quick examples. And, and I'll go right to the top of our, uh, of our uh, management sta uh, staff, which is the general manager, Scott Nichols. Scott, this year, has worked diligently to get a number of grants that have helped this club and keep our dues in check by helping us get grants for the pump out station and also uh, for a new engine in, uh, in Nor'easter. And I, I can't say enough for what that does and what efforts he put forward to get those grants. That is just an example of, of what one person has done and add the rest of the staff in, add the Board of Governors, and a lot of things uh, have been unbelievable in how we've weathered this storm. So thank you, Scott, Catherine, Stacy, Doreen, and the staff. The club's ready for the upcoming season and looks amazing. Jack Colton, thank you very much for helping us get this ceremony to the membership. It's much appreciated. Again, thanks to all the Board of Governors uh, and their committees. Your hard work and has been undaunting. Special thanks to Vice Commodore Oliver Tutt and Rear Commodore Becky Schwack. Your efforts and your support for me have, have, uh, are priceless. The entire, for the entire membership, your patience, understanding, and support for, the, for this club, especially during this last year and the challenges pre presented by this pandemic. We continue to be in great shape, both physically and financially. And as the regulations begin to lift, so will our access to the club and the events begin to expand accordingly. Again, we'll continue to communicate them 
uh, any changes with line articles, email blasts, and however we can get uh, that information to you. So as a Commodore of the club, one of the special things I, I, I'm able to do, and I have a special announcement that, that's along those lines. The, and this will be the last order of business, so we'll get out of this cold weather soon. So the special announcements I want to share with you is the announcement this year that we have bestowed the honor of a life member to another member of the Barrington Yacht Club. I think if you look over my shoulder at past Commodore uh, and life member Steve Thurston, you'll see an example of a life member and a, and a lifetime service and, and what a lifetime uh, a life member really is being recognized for and, and what they contribute to this club. It's truly given to someone that has an unconditional, significant, and sustained contribution to the club and to the sport of sailing outside this, these walls as well. Our new life member has been a member for his entire life. He was a junior member and even worked on the docks when he was young. There are members that contribute to the club in a way that others see that contribution. But this member is, is that cameraman who behind, who's behind the camera and no one understands his contribution until the film is developed. This member has, has been not only, this member has, has been not only taking countless photos for the club, but this passion of his has expanded to the college circuit the J-Boat Worlds, Puma Races, 12-Meter Worlds, and the list goes on. Shifting gears, this member has been legal counsel to the club and quietly protected and represented this membership in ways that a great lawyer does. I asked him, uh, I'm going to get, I, yes, I asked him to come tonight to take pictures for this event, and I, he has, I hope he has no clue what's happening. But, but now I need someone to take a picture of the past, of past Commodore Rob Migliaccio as he's recognized as the newest life member of the Barrington Yacht Club. Uh, Rob, could you, do you have any words you would like to say? <laughs> That's uh, you weren't you weren't expected to be, but uh, Rob, I, as a life member, there is no plaque to give you. There's no award to give you. There's just the the sheer compassion of this club for everything you have done since you were small. So thank you very much, and your the the award is well represented now. Um, um, um. <laughs> well, thank you. Thank you, Rob. Free ice forever, Rob. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> so Rob truly didn't know. So that's a that's good. There's a very appreciative that no one uh, let him know, and it could be a surprise. So in closing, I look forward to the upcoming season and seeing everyone at the club. I appreciate, every, I appreciate everyone who's been here, everyone who's going to view this video, and uh, please come out to the club. We can't wait for you to come see how great it looks. Thank you very much. See you soon.